Hi, so you know WordPress has been updated and so most of the most of the server has updated WordPress by itself to 5.0.1 or let's say 5.0. So as soon as this update, most of the user have started facing a problem. The problem is because of its new editor. So WordPress has come up with its new editor. Now the problem is after after this update, the VC uh, Visual Composer has stopped working in like in many websites. So uh, let me show you this. Uh, let me go to the pages first. Okay. So as you can see here, when I go to edit. I don't see anything. I just see a new layout, like which is very difficult for me to edit, right? So, so now what to do about it? I was like, it took me around two, three hours to figure out what can be done. So even after clicking all these things, it does not really solve the problem, right? So after studying few websites, I have found that the, this update like the WordPress has come up with a new editor called Gutenberg so this let me format it okay Gutenberg please note this okay so in order to make your visual composer any any other editor work you must disable this Gutenberg editor because by default you have this editor and it does not allow other editors to work. So to disable it, what you can do is go to add new plugin, and type Gutenberg. Okay. So I'll type here disable. It's a So install this, okay, and activate it. So now we go to Gutenberg, Gutenberg. Yeah, here. So under settings, you'll find this. You need to save the changes. So once you go to, now if you go to the pages, well, you'll see the editor as it was earlier. Okay, so now do you see this? Everything started working, the visual computer is fine. So you can use default, you can make the changes. So like if you disable this plugin, this particular editor, Gutenberg editor, your visual composer will start working or any other editor that you have been using will start working. Yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. If you want me to like, you can also do it through function.php. But yeah, you can copy the code from plugin to PHP to function.php. So this is, this is basically, this is it. So thank you for watching. Good luck.